My name is Tony, and uh, I'm the creator of the Dev Dojo. And uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers starting to do this. Uh, it's a video log, or it's also called a vlog. And uh, I thought I'd try it out. So uh, I think just every week I'm going to create a video, and it's actually going to be me driving. So I, I guess we could call it driving with the Dev Dojo, or <laughs> we probably won't call it that. But uh, every single week, uh, I want to basically pick a, a subject and talk about it. So, uh, I think for this week, I kind of want to talk about uh, creating projects and specifically side projects and kind of like the right software to use. Because <clears throat> I, I know that a lot of uh, software developers are, they're always, you know, trying to figure out like the next greatest framework, uh, what they should be using, what they shouldn't be using. And sometimes they get caught up so much in that, that uh, they don't even get to actually creating the product itself. I'm getting a call from somebody. Let's see who this is. Hello? Sorry about that, I got a call that I had to answer. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to get out is that you shouldn't necessarily focus on the framework or the language. Uh, really you should just focus on the product itself and actually getting the work in. Um, and a lot of times, uh, you know, you see things online, you're like, oh, the next greatest thing, I got to use this for my project. Um, and if you're at a good point where you can use that at the beginning of your product, um, then go ahead and use it. Um, but if you're not, I would say stick with what you know, because you're going to get your product out the quickest. Um, so the idea is you want to get your product out to people and you want to get it out so that way people can see it and maybe give you some feedback. Um, but you're never actually going to come to a completion with your product. So your product is never actually going to be fully complete. And that's because if it's a product that you love or something that you're even making money off of, you are going to want to continue working on this and uh, you're probably gonna be passionate about your product. And later on, if you do find a framework that you want to use, uh, you can you probably wanna refactor your code anyways. So you might as well uh, start with the new framework or the new library that you found so fascinating. So yeah, with this video, the uh, idea behind it is uh, not to focus on the frameworks or the languages that you can be using to build your product. Um, instead, just worry about building your product in the first place. Uh, just worry about actually putting the work in and um, you're gonna see it'll pay off. Uh, and that's actually the fun part. The fun part is putting in the work. Um, and it's not getting to a completion state because you're never gonna be completed with your product. If it's something that you're really passionate about and uh, you know eventually you're making money on, you're gonna continue working on this for possibly even the rest of your life. Um, you know, so don't worry about just like, you know, worry about getting it done to a certain point so you can get it out and get it in front of people. That's definitely key. Um, but yeah, you also want to make yourself know, you also want to let yourself know that you're actually never going to be at full completion of your product. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, stop worrying about the languages and the frameworks and start focusing on the product and I'll see you guys in a future video.